There's one simple way to find out what you really and truly believe inside, whether you want to accept it or not. And that's what you do and don't do. Scary sometimes. Ugly sometimes. As my good friend Danny Lockhart says, sometimes it's got to get ugly before it gets good. All right? So characterization... This is where the rubber meets the road. This is simply new habits that have become a part of you. You got to be before you can do, and you got to do before you can have. All right? So, what we're going to do this morning is we're going to go through an assessment process so that you can record where you're at in your business. And you can see your business for what it really is. How many of you here want a predictable, profitable, turnkey operation? Every single person in this room. What I'm going to do is we're going to go through a process right now. And you're going to be able to assess your business. How is your business doing? And you're going to give your business a score. I don't want you to feel too badly because I did this even with my night to the round table and the fact is it takes time and discipline and effort to move this forward. But if we can get an idea of where we're at right now, then and we can record that, then when you come back in three months or six months whenever I see you again, then we can take a look at that. And this is going to become the foundation of our scorekeeping process. All right. So we're going to go through it. Uh, you guys saw the Wheel of Life uh, the first day. This is the business wheel of success. Uh, we've got the four parts of our business. Marketing. What is that? What does marketing mean? What's the function of marketing? Okay. So what has to happen? How, how do I know that my marketing is working? I got enough phone calls. I got enough prospects opting in, calling in, uh, making appointments, whatever that looks like in your business. Second part is the sales process. What does that mean? Because how many of you know that we can generate that phone call, but they may not buy from us. So there's one of two things going on, right? Either that's a suspect, not really a prospect, or it's a prospect, a true prospect, maybe even a, a, a pre-sold, pre-qualified, ready-to-buy client, but we blow it on the phone, either by not answering the telephone or not saying the right thing. Because if you're after Mercedes clients and you sound like a used car lot, it ain't going to work, right? And that happens every day in American business. That's what I call the silent kiss of death in small business. Then third is your operations. That's the service experience, right? You got, you got an order. You got them on the schedule. That's what we call client fulfillment. That's delivery. Did that go well? This is typically where most small business owners, because we're technically minded, we're really into the technical work, we really love our customers, this is usually where we shine. This is the tragedy because we usually do well in that space but so many times we never get the opportunity because we're not phenomenal marketers and we're not phenomenal salespeople. Is that true? We spend 90% there because we know that we've just kind of been trained cause and effect. You don't take care of the client, you don't get the check. You don't get the credit card number. All right. And then administration is another big huge gap that I think we have. Did I make money? 
what happened on this wheel from start to finish? Do we know where our business came from? Are we making the right decisions? Do we have the right reporting in place? So what we're going to do is we're going to go through and look at what this ought to look like. And you're going to be able to rate yourself. And we're going to talk about that. And then uh, this afternoon, or actually in the second session before noon, we're going to um, really roll up our sleeves and put an action plan together and really learn how to track this stuff.